Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the Prehistoric Werewolf Challenge. A challenge in The Sims 4 where we try to be prehistoric werewolves living with no civilization. So a link to the rules will be in the description below as well as a playlist for all of the videos in the series. And just to warn you, we are doing death rolls to simulate the dangerous times. So this might be triggering for anyone who doesn't want to have death rolls, especially for children and infants and pregnancies. Please do not watch this series. So last time, Jonathan Parrish got stuck with some children that weren't his because his wife died. But he's also taking care of Caitlin Ennis and Craig Hernandez and River Hernandez. So we're just trying to help these kids survive since they're in the same pack. And we'll just continue where we left off from last time since... Whoa, um, careful there, Jonathan. Yeah, so we'll just continue with this family since they're the next one that we were supposed to play. Even though we did do a couple of days with them last episode. Now I did change a couple of the calculations and rules and we'll go over that once we have an opportunity, you know, if there's any disasters. But one of the rules was that females and males basically had the same chances for survival, but we kept losing the mothers. And since losing a mother is a lot harder than losing a father in this particular instance, since they're breastfeeding the babies and having the babies, we're actually going to give a small bonus to being female. So for females, they will get an extra five points for survival as suggested by one of the comments. And for males, they will get a five point penalty. To balance things out. Now that doesn't really make a whole lot of difference because what makes more difference is if you're a greater wolf blood or a dormant wolf blood. I think with Jonathan the only way that we're going to get any fun is to use his scavenging ability. I got the CC play match that kind of looks like it might be appropriate for the time period. I don't know the wood looks a little bit too finished but it's better than the colorful ones that are normally available. Well, it's a good thing tomorrow is everyone's birthday because as soon as I get the infants fed, it's time to give Caitlin a bath. And then it's just so much things to do that it's ridiculous. Oh, little Caitlin is sad. Why are you sad, Caitlin? Poor dolls. Someone smashed the dollhouse. How terrible. Well, guess what, Caitlin? That had to have been you. Because the only other two are infants. And they cannot smash the dollhouse. And I know Jonathan didn't do it. Because I've had him cleaning and feeding the infants for the last two or three hours. So why did you smash the dollhouse? Oh, Craig blows kisses that's a cute one okay i can't feed the kids anymore because he has too much fury so we'll just nap it out oh it's crag's birthday that must mean it is also river's birthday i don't think i got a notification for river but they're both born at the same time and happy birthday crag Okay, Crag is a top-notch infant. I was worried about that because there have been some times where I couldn't keep his needs very high. And he starts with communication level two. Oh, and Crag is going to be independent. That's awesome. All right, we're going to go put Crag in the playroom because that's where I keep the kids. They're not allowed out of the playroom until they get to be a child. Crag must like being held for some reason. He keeps asking to be picked up. Okay, we'll age up River. Happy birthday, River. Okay, River is also a top-notch infant. That's good because she's the greater wolf blood and I'm hoping that she survives. 
Oh, and she's also going to be independent. Well, I'm getting lucky today. Okay, River should go potty because you're a little bit low on bladder need. And I think everyone is getting hungry, so I'll bring some food down here for you guys. Oh no, Crag is aggressive. Well, that's just great. He bit Caitlin. Since Jonathan is a grumpy wolf, he's going to go to sleep with the toddlers. And one of them is awake already. Go back to sleep. Oh, it's Caitlin's birthday. I really wanted her to get to level 5 movement first. Now, I'm not going to bake cakes in this series, so I'm just using MC Command Center to set their age because we haven't learned how to bake yet. So, happy birthday, Caitlin! <laughs> and Caitlin is going to be a recycle disciple. Oh, great. I'm going to have to watch out because... She can't use the recycler. There is no recycler. So she's going to randomly recycle objects and I'm going to have to repurchase them. It's just annoying because I'm not playing with any sort of money system right now. But I do have to watch out that something is not missing. And all of the children are going to be doing the social butterfly aspiration. Just because that's probably the only one that is relevant for this time period. And we have our first child, Caitlin Ennis. Okay, we'll try again to get on Christopher's good graces. Okay, Christopher, can we be a friend of the Moonwood Mill Collective? And then can we join the pack immediately after that? Okay, we're joining the Moonwood Mill Collective. Now we're very angry. I'm not sure if we can get to be the wolf but we will challenge him to a brawl. And our stats are not so great either, so we're probably not going to win. But we might as well try. And no, we lost that one. We do have fitness level 7, so we have a chance of maybe defeating him tomorrow since he's injured. Oh, and we have our first disaster. Okay, looks like it's a volcanic bomb. And do we have any fires? No fires. All right, it's Tuesday. It's 630. That's not the best, but it it is what it is. Okay, this is what I've done. I've put the rolls so that the bonuses are a little bit different. They take into account fitness, rock climbing, motor skill, and movement for toddlers. Also, I'm including the gross motor milestones for the infants and also the parenting skill for the children. So the parent has a parenting skill and that boosts the children's bonus, not the parent's bonus. So these are the lowest roles that these particular individuals can get and survive. I don't think I've ever pointed that out, but this is the fall season. So there's no bonus or penalty for the fall season. And then Jonathan Parrish, who is a young adult and should be the most likely one to survive, needs at least a 12 out of 100. And then Caitlin, who's a child, needs a 14. And then Craig, who is a toddler, needs a 28. And then River only needs a 12. And the reason why hers is so much better than Craig's is because she is a greater wolf blood. So she almost, actually she does have the same survival odds as the adult. But that's only because she has that greater wolf blood trait. Okay, and these roles are actually just the bare minimum to survive. So those are not our roles. Let's go ahead and do the death rolls and see what we get. And everyone survived. Okay, so we don't have to worry about it this time. But for next time, I have this character sheet. And I basically put all of the tr names and all of the traits. And I'm having it do a sum if. So this is all the values. 
And then I have a value assigned for each trait. So most of the traits are just negative one or positive one, depending on whether or not they're good or bad. And then we have a few that are more than negative one. So for being a male, I did negative three and female is actually positive two because I wanted a five point spread, but I didn't want to give a complete five points of bonus for the female and five negative points for a male because that makes it a 10 point spread. And that is too much of a difference when it comes to roles. But I think this one will work out great. We're going to have Jonathan try and box, but he's just not having it. He doesn't like fitness. I need to get his fitness up to level 10 or at least try to improve it somewhat. Not only does it help him survive, but he also needs it in order to be able to defeat Christopher and become alpha of the pack. Rock climbing is fitness, at least with the rock climbing machine. I wonder if he has fun doing this. Yes, he does. Okay, so he likes rock climbing and this also gives him some fitness skill too. And this also satisfies his energetic lifestyle. Okay, so I think I've figured out how to fix Jonathan now. Okay, if you have a child in The Sims and they don't have any parents or their parents are dead, you can actually go to Friendly and Adopt and I think it gives them the milestone. Oh, he's even got a birth certificate. So I think this actually adds him to Caitlin's tree as an adoptive parent. We'll see. Yes, basically, uh, Jonathan is now her father. All right. Okay, so Caitlin has milestones born at home and adopted. So yes, you can have both of those. What you can't have, however, is born at home and born at a hospital because you have to be one or the other. Okay, that option is not available for Craig. And I think it's because their parents are still in the game because they're ghosts, but I haven't released their spirits. So you have to release the spirits of the parents and probably delete them from the game so that they no longer show up on this tree. All right, Jonathan is getting his fury a little bit too high. I cannot do anything with him. So he's going to go to the panic room and then we'll just watch the kids for a while. Okay, we were able to regain control. Now we need to tell Caitlin about the underground tunnels and this will allow her to travel above ground. And the reason why that is important is because the only way that we can get motor skill, which is the equivalent of fitness for children, is to play on these trees. And it happens to be outside. I don't have any trees underground because that really wouldn't make any sense. Okay, Jonathan's going to challenge Christopher again for the pack leadership. He hasn't really improved his fitness very much, so he's still level 7. So we'll see how this goes. He is confident due to his primal instinct, but I don't think this is going to last the entire fight. No, we did not win again. Oh good, Jonathan likes rock climbing. This will make it a lot easier to get fun. Oh, Jonathan starves to death in 12 hours. He was a little bit in the orange, but... For some reason, his hunger just went down really quick. I think it's because of his hungry like the wolf trait and the fact that he has sudden cravings. So we better get him something to eat. Quit walking slow. I know you're mad, but if you go faster, you can eat faster. Fury also seems to be glitched sometimes. It completely erased all of his fury and I pretty sure he had a little bit of it and I did not somber howl so I'm not sure what went on there he's supposed to gain fury while hungry and he had absolutely no fury that doesn't make any sense 
Oh no, there's an earthquake, and I was just about to challenge Christopher again. Well, sorry Christopher, we're going to have to do death rolls first. Okay, I have updated the stats, and we have a little bit of a difference, so there are some better stats here, since we did gain a level of parenting, and a couple of motor points, and also movement points for the toddlers. So, let's do another roll. Oh, when we lost Crag, he got a bad roll. Oh, that's too bad. I'm sorry, Crag. We'll try challenging Christopher, but I think the reason why we're not winning is I kind of forgot that Jonathan is not yet an alpha. And why does he keep getting conversations with someone else? Come on, your confidence is going to run out. Well, he's not going to win this. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, I've deleted all the ghosts from my world using MC Command Center. So I'm going to adopt River because now it will let me. And that also makes Caitlyn River's half-sister. Because I guess it only sets the father. And those two are going to be related. Well, Mio Nakamura is visiting here. I'm not sure if that's exactly how you say it. I'd have to look it up. But she is not a werewolf. So hopefully we can make friends and then maybe we can get werewolf sympathy. I mean, that's the hardest thing to do because you have to be really good friends and then you have to discuss being a werewolf a couple of times. And hopefully they're in good enough a mood in order to grant you sympathy. Okay, we have a little bit of friendship and it's a pleasant conversation. Plus, she actually isn't tense anymore. Usually other sims that are not werewolves get tense when we're hanging out in beast form. I don't think it'll work though. I, have to, I think you have to be pretty good friends. No, don't leave yet. I'm not done. Let me ask for sympathy real quick. And if it doesn't work, maybe another time. Doesn't look good. No, she's not having it. We'll have to be better friends. All right, next time then. Okay, Caitlin and Jonathan are becoming best friends because that's the easiest way to get through the social butterfly aspiration is to make friends with your parent. Okay, I just got Apex rank, but I didn't get any ability points. I wanted to get Alpha. Well, that's not helpful. I thought it might be glitched because last time I got three ability points for whatever reason. Okay, Jonathan is going to be neat. So that does add to his survivability score. Well, River's doing pretty well. She has level 4 movement skills. So we're trying to get all of her skills up to level 5. Because that will give her the top-notch toddler trait. Oh no, Jonathan is hysterical. That is not good. I think we're going to have to stop talking. No! He was calming down! He just calmed down! Jonathan! No! Oh, that's sad. Um, okay. Well, um, what happens in this case is I have to go grab an adult before the children get put away. And, oh, I hate when the tents do that. Okay, where's an adult? I need an adult. <laughs> hey, Lily, would you like to babysit my kids just for a little bit? Oh, the irony of this. Okay, so um, the reason why I have to do that is because children and toddlers cannot live by themselves. So we will actually have Caitlin and River see if they can survive um, by themselves because children are able to feed themselves and do everything that they need to do. It's just that I have to have an adult in the household because the game won't let them live alone. I used to have a mod that would let them live alone, 
but it stopped working when infants came out because it was bugging my infants. So I had to uninstall that. And then we have a toddler here, which the toddler is not allowed to live alone. They will be sent to daycare and that won't work. So what I will do is um, Lily is an elder, but I think she has the werewolf trait where it doesn't allow her to age. Okay, yes, she is an immortal wolf. So she's able to live forever. So she will not die of old age. And what I will do is I will just put her in the basement and give her stuff that she should be able to survive on. And then hopefully we can have the kids age up to teenager eventually because Caitlin is not going to be a teenager until um not next week but the week after so she's going to have to go through two more rotations until she's a teenager and then she's going to have to take care of river and the way that she's going to do that is probably through harvestables so we'll have to figure out how to get caitlin's mental skill up and i think that we can do that with fishing okay so we should be fine oh but it is fall oh oh that's bad we're going to have to get her mental skill up pretty quickly and stockpile some fish because it's going to be winter soon and she won't be able to fish during the winter and there will be no harvestables during the winter so this is just bad timing I didn't know if werewolves could die from emotional deaths. I know they don't die from getting angry because they're angry all the time. And the thing is, though, I think they only get very angry and not enraged. Or if they do get enraged, they've never died from it. I've never seen them die from it. However, this answers my question that yes, they can die from being hysterical. I did not realize that. Oh, Graham, you're going to take, well, maybe I can, no, I'm not going to plead. This series does not allow pleading because it's dangerous times. And Jonathan, I'm sorry, you will be missed. Well, that is the first time in this series that I have lost a werewolf to a regular death. Um, with the exception of freezing when they're not in my household. Okay, we've got Lily down here in her own little area with her food that she can serve and her plants she can talk to, a trash can, and then she can... Oh, well, um, Caitlin likes fitness. Good. That's a good thing to like. So anyway, Lily can nap on the ground and she can groom herself. So she has the ability to take care of all of her needs. Um, but there's one little thing that I forgot about. Uh, we have mold enabled and there's already mold in the toddler area or the nursery area. So that's unfortunate. Um... I don't know what to do for that because children cannot clean mold. All right. Well, they might be able to die from mold, though, because she already has sporiosis. It's not toxic mold, so we'll just pretend like that did not happen. It looks like River is not affected by it, so maybe River can be down here. But Caitlin can't. So I'm sending Caitlin up here. And Caitlin can go through the tunnels so she can get out. But she can't teach River how to go through the tunnels. You can't interact with this with a toddler. So I'm not sure what to do about that. Um, what I might do is if the mold gets too bad down here, we might move them both upstairs and just say that Caitlin did show her how to get there. And yeah, we'll, we'll just go with that. Um, I cannot use this cooking thing with kids and I cannot use the grill with kids. I do have mods that allow kids to cook, but it's either they don't work with the grills or maybe I did not download that into this save. 
No, I don't have a cooking option. Okay. So I'm not allowing kids to cook in this save. What I might do is download those mods into the save. And we'll see how this goes. Well, I wanted Caitlin to go fishing, but maybe that's a bad idea. Because right now, she is in a bad mood. Can we go jogging? No, I think you have to wait until you're a teenager for that. Okay, inspired isn't the best mood for fishing, but at least it's not sad. I think you have to be level 4 in order to harvest the plants. Oh, and this is bad. This is really bad. I did not realize Caitlin is not a werewolf. Well, she no, wait, she has to be a werewolf. She has the moon plumbob. Why can she not eat the fish? Normally, they can just wolf down the fish. Why do they not have that option? They must have taken away the option for kids and toddlers to wolf down the fish, even if they're a werewolf. Well, that's not good. I'm pretty sure I have done that before. It's not letting me. Okay, I'm definitely going to have to install the mod that allows kids to cook. Well, it's snowing and it's already too cold to go fishing. So I have no other way of increasing her mental skill. Oh, no, 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 Christopher, you can't die. I don't think he will die, actually, because I think that... He is immune to all forms of death because I have never seen him die. He'll turn blue, but then after a while, he'll just turn not blue. And we saved him anyway. But anyway, what I can do is try to join the Moonwood Mill Collective. And then I can get things from the hangout. And there's sometimes food there. So I can get it every once in a while. And... That might tide us over because we actually have a lot of food in the refrigerator already and we might be able to make it through winter. Where are you going, Christopher? I'm still talking to you. Okay, we're a friend of the Moonwood Mill Collective. Now I think, yeah, that just allows you to contribute to pack resources and use their facilities. It does not allow you to get food. I don't think you can join a werewolf pack as a child. No. She's not old enough. <laughs> Great. Well, maybe people will give me pack mate gifts and maybe they will give me food or harvestables. I think we have a lot left, but I'm not sure if we have enough for the entire winter and I will not be able to harvest unless I can figure out a way to get my mental skill up. We can't discuss fractions. We can't do homework. We were almost level four mental skill, but not quite. Yeah, there's nothing that gets my mental skill up. Well, I can grill things, but I don't know if I want to take a chance with the grill. I don't think I can make any sort of fish because unfortunately I can't use the fire pit. The mod does allow me to cook with the regular cooking things like the refrigerator and so I can make fruit salads, but I cannot make anything in the fire pit. I can use the grill. Uh oh, we're having an earthquake. Yeah, and the toddlers do that when you have earthquakes. That has nothing to do with my mods. That's just how it goes. Okay, so we just have Caitlin and River, which means that they lose the parenting bonus since there is no parenting. And here we go. How is it going to turn out? Oh, no, Caitlin dies. Okay, well, unfortunately, I don't think the toddler can survive by herself. Unless we just have them eat plants. We do have a lot of plants, though. 
And I have done this in my Lucid Legacy Challenge where I had toddlers survive until they aged up. And I think River is just two days from aging up. So we might have enough food for her to survive. Let me know in the comments, should we try to continue this or should we move River over to another household and say that basically she was adopted again? <laughs> Poor River. I mean, she's gone through so much and this is just a really, really low roll. Okay, yeah, we have a lot of produce in here. We even have six servings of fish left. So, I don't know, maybe we'll be okay? We'll try it for now. It's only one more day until we have to go to the next family anyway. One thing I had not considered is that no one told River how to get out of the caves. So she's technically stuck in here until she becomes a teenager. Maybe we should just try to make it all the way to being a teenager before we leave the cave. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Anyway, this is Charity. Thanks for watching.